After discussing all these things, now we come to the main part, which is known as an operating system. As I have already discussed with you, that the operating system basically is an interface between the application program and the hardware. Say, for the example, these are the hardwares, you know, then it is the operating system, and here are the interface application program, application program, and various users interact using these application programs. These application programs. So, uh, Operating system is an interface between the application program and the hardware. So, operating system is an interface between computer user and the computer hardware. Operating system is a resource manager whose responsibility is to manage the resources of the computer system. Here you can see that it is the operating system which directly interacts with the hardware. It manages various resources which are available over here on the instruction of the user which is passed on to the operating system through various application uh, programs. So, in that sense you can call it that operating system is a resource manager whose responsibility is to manage the resources of a computer system. Aim of an operating system is to improve throughput, performance and efficiency of the system. OS is computer program that after being initially loaded into the computer by a boot program manages all the other application programs in a computer. The application programs make use of the operating system by making requests for services through a defined application program interface which is known as API. In addition, user can interact directly with the operating system through a user interface such as command line interface CLI or graphical user interface. So, uh, I have already told you that we do have the shell basically one part which is known as the shell. So, using the shell which is nothing but command line interface you can directly give or pass on the instruction to the operating system or to the kernel uh, which in turn get your job done uh, with the help of hardware. Here we do have several examples you can see of the operating system Linux is an operating system, Windows operating system, Mac operating system, Red Hat, Solaris. So, a uh, lot of examples are uh, written over uh, here. Now, we will discuss what are various components of the operating system. Operating system is a large and complex program basically that can only be created by partitioning into smaller parts. These modules should be well defined part of the system carefully defining input, output and function. Although Windows, Mac, Unix, Linux and other operating system do not have the same structure. Most operating systems share similar operating system components such as file, memory, process, IO device management, etc. So, here you can see uh, the broad uh, functionalities of the operating system. So, in the center you do have the operating system components. So, the task may be classified as process management, file management, network management, main memory management, secondary storage management, IU device management. So, mainly the operating system is managing various resources of the computer system, security management, command, uh, interpreter systems and like that. Uh, whenever we talk about uh, types of operating system. So, based on the application and use case, an operating system is classified into the following categories. Batch operating system, multi-programming batched system, time sharing system, distributed sharing system, network operating system, real-time operating system and mobile operating systems. So, uh, one by one we will see the functionalities of and the features of these kinds of operating systems. So, first we will see batch operating system. A batch operating system simply known as BOS is a computer program or computer system that allows multiple users to use it without direct communication between them. It does this by keeping users in separate batches and processing jobs automatically in set. So, the jobs are grouped in different batches say for the example job 1, job 2, job 3 and they are passed on to the operating system and the operating system uh, takes job number 1 or process the batch number 1, then batch number 2, batch number 3 and like that. So, it does this by keeping users in separate batches and processing jobs automatically in sets. Jobs are grouped together and processed at batch rather than individually. Jobs are processed in the order they are received. 
first come first serve basis once a job is complete the operating system releases the corresponding memory the primary purpose of batch operating system is to minimize operating overhead by processing jobs without manual intervention batch operating systems were designed to address the disadvantages of early computer system which used punch cards or magnetic tapes as input and output to uh, output processes another type of operating system is known as multi programming batched system a multi programming batch system is a variation of batch processing that allows multiple programs to run on a single processor while keeping the cpu busy the operating system chooses job from memory to execute and then switches to another job when the first job needs to perform some input output operation because during input output operation the cpu is free so in the free cpu time it takes another job and it executes the that uh, job during its leisure time when the first job is doing or busy in doing some io operation so this makes an optimal use of the cpu the cpu and os are always busy in case of multi operating batch system multi programming batches batch system have several advantage including faster response time higher cpu utilization and the ability to run multiple jobs simultaneously now is the time sharing operating system tsos is an operating system that allows multiple user to access a computer at the same time this is done by dividing the cpu time into segments and rapidly switching between the tasks here you see that terminal 1 terminal 2 terminal 3 and terminal 4 they are attached to the host computer and say for the example terminal 1 terminal 2 3 and 4 they have uh, some programs to run or some jobs to be done or to be executed by the computer during the time terminal once job is being run or being executed by the computer rest of the jobs of terminal 2 3 and 4 will have to wait during that period of time and this is not a desirable uh, situation all the computers must feel that their jobs are being taken up or being executed simultaneously and this is made uh, happen using the time sharing system so what happens basically this gives the impression that each users or terminal task is executing simultaneously it ensures that resources like cpu time memory and storage are used efficiently this is possible for individual and organization to use a computer without owning one so what it does basically uh, very fastly it uh, switches the cpu time between terminal 1 2 3 and uh, 4 and executes all the job simultaneously so they are known as the time sharing operating system time sharing enhances the system's responsiveness but there are certain drawbacks as well it consumes a lot of resources required high quality hardware they can have consistency issues security and integrity issues with user program and data are always there and sometimes data communication problems are there with time sharing system another type of operating system is distributed sharing system a distributed system is a collection of computers that work together to achieve a common goal by sharing resources and processing tasks simultaneously distributed systems are used in many types of computing including database management scientific simulations and video games the main feature of distributed sharing systems are resource sharing they share hardware software or data amongst themselves and network component a network that connects all the compute components so that they can communicate with each other so here you see different computers are there and they are doing various job in uh, collaboration with each other so this requires a distinct type of operating system which is known as distributed sharing system distributed sharing system the main feature of distributed system is scalability distributed system can scale to meet the changing needs reliability is another feature distributed systems are reliable and high performance distributed systems can perform well while some of the challenges are some challenges include complexity resource management and dynamic configuration changes related issues and next is network operating system Uh, all of us are very much aware with a computer network where several computers are connected with each other in certain fashion 
and the main purpose of the computer network is resource sharing so sitting at one computer you can use the resources which are available on other computers as well so here the task such kind of task resource sharing on diverse computer or among various members of the uh, computer network are being supervised or being controlled by network operating system so a network operating system is a software that allows devices on a local area network to communicate with each other and share resources among themselves network operating systems are typically used on network devices like routers switches and firewalls network operating system allow user to communicate with each other over network network operating system allow user to share files printers and internet connections they can provide security features network operating systems coordinate the activities of multiple devices on the network network operating system can support multiple input requests simultaneously some popular network operating systems include novel netware unixware linux and windows nt network operating systems were an important part of operating system from 1980s to 1990s when local area network systems were first introduced disadvantage of uh, nos includes setup complexity be complexities network operating system setups can be complex to configure and maintain licensing and support costs are very high licensing and support cost for a proprietary nos can be very high vulnerability nos can be vulnerable to security risks if they are not adequately protected and uh, uh, compatibility issues are always there compatibility issues can arise when integrating different nos or network protocols so in a big network basically uh, we do have various kinds of network which has been established using different kinds of protocol and they uh, need to communicate with each other so in that case basically some compatibility issues may arise another type of operating system is known as real time operating system a real time operating system simply known as rtos is a software program that manages task and event in real time systems where time constraints are very critical rtos are different from traditional operating system because they can guarantee that task and event are responded to in a timely manner and critically rtos prioritize task based on their urgency and allocate cpu resources accordingly real time operating system switch between task quickly giving the impression that multiple programs are running at once they manage system resources including memory segments and ensure that available memory is uh, optimally used provide communication and messaging between tasks often used in industrial system automotive control medical devices where delays could lead to safety hazards some disadvantages are always there cost cost can be expensive due to hardware requirements like device drivers complexity the algorithm and programs used in rtos can be very complex and rtos may be limited in number of tasks they can process at a given time and lastly we will be discussing mobile operating system as all of us know that uh, in the smartphones or the mobile devices they are being uh, managed or controlled by operating systems and they are known as the mobile operating system uh, mobile operating system is a software that allows the mobile devices to run applications and programs and to manage the device hardware and software it acts as an interface between the device hardware and the software and allows user to interact with the device the os manages the device hardware components the os allows user to download and install software and to run application the mobile os manages the device cellular and wireless network connectivity and here are some of the examples of mobile operating system all of us know that android simba nos windows phone blackberry's phone ios these are the examples of mobile operating system the mobile operating system as i have already told you that they helps us to manage the device manager the device processor they manage the device itself and the file system the ma uh, mobile operating system detects errors and helps us in troubleshooting some popular mobile operating systems include 
Android and iOS with which all of us are familiar with. Android is the leading mobile operating system worldwide with a market share of 70% or so in the quarter of 2024.